Martin. I'm Alistair Somerville. It's a Saturday afternoon and we're seriously excited because we've got this, the V12 Vantage S manual, here on site. Back in 2008, a merry band of lunatics, <coughs> I mean enthusiasts, at the Aston Martin factory decided to shoehorn in the humongous V12 engine with 510 brake horsepower into the diminutive small Vantage body. With a manual gearbox, this car became an instant cult classic. In 2013, its power was increased to 565 brake horsepower and its gearbox changed to a 7-speed automated manual. Many enthusiasts lamented the passing of the manual box with the V12 Vantage S. However, since then, Aston Martin have rectified this. So, visually, what has changed for the V12 Vantage S in this 17 model year? Well, very little actually. It's still got the racy, motorsport inspired look of the V12 Vantage S that was introduced late in 2013, complete with the carbon fibre grille carbon fibre splitters. Also, the option for having these carbon fibre louvers in the, uh, in the vents has continued as well. However, for the 17 model year, you have the Sports Plus package, which essentially gives you a small uplift in uh, brake horsepower, but also a 10 newton meter uplift in torque. You get some visual identifiers that you've gone for that option. So five signature colours are within the Sports Plus package. This is one of them. This is China Grey and it's a real contemporary colour and it's also paired with a visual graphics pack so you have the racing yellow lips around the grille you also have the racing yellow wing mirrors and the stripes down the side now if you're a little bit more shy and retiring you don't need to have these, uh, these graphic pack elements but they do make the car look really true to its motorsport heritage now other cool things on the V12 Vantage S worth mentioning when we first launched the car back in 2013, it was the chance to have something with a lightweight forged alloy wheel for the first time. Now the huge benefits of a lightweight forged alloy wheel beyond the obvious visual impact that they give. You've got these gorgeous scallops which are a really neat detailing feature, but they dramatically reduce unsprung weight at every uh, corner of the vehicle. They further have a reduction in unsprung weight because of these these uh, Brembo carbon ceramic brake disc behind which is significantly lighter than a steel disc and when you reduce unsprung weight as in weight that's not attached to the actual tub and body of the car you have huge benefits in handling and braking uh, performance and actually every kilo of weight that you can save either with the brake discs or the wheels is the equivalent of four kilograms saved within the actual vehicle itself. Now visually the V12 Vantage is true to the Vantage body. It has to be the best looking car, bar none, of the 21st century. It still looks live, it still looks taut, it's the most athletic looking car that we have in our whole range, where it just really is just wrapped around the wheel base in every, in every context. We've got these gorgeous wide launches, we've got very assertive uh, side sills, and then this car is sort of garnished around the, the, the window surround and other sort of carbon fiber elements. Now there are some changes inside which are definitely worthwhile pointing out to you. Thank you for joining me in the cabin of the 2017 Model Year V12 Vantage. Now I just wanted to go through some interior changes that come with various options, most notably the Sports Plus package. We'll have already discussed the uh, visual graphics pack on the outside however the Sports Plus package allows you to correlate that inside with this contrasting leather stripe not only in the door cards but also in the seat and that comes with matching contrasting stitching also the upper environment is trimmed in a man-made fabric called Alcantara it's a man-made suede that's lighter than leather but also within the, seat, the seats you'll find it's far more grippy and it's very true to the motorsport uh, influence that completely surrounds this vehicle. 
Also, for 2017 model year, all Aston Martins come with significant improvements in infotainment, not just this V12 Vantage S. Now, because this particular car is a prototype, it hasn't had all the uh, new infotainment loaded up, but highlights of the new system include all new navigation with huge improvements in mapping and graphics as well as uh, functionality and also full access to Apple CarPlay. The punchline of the new V12 Vantage is this, the seven speed manual gearbox. So we have three pedals, a very old fashioned configuration, we've got a clutch pedal to work your leg out and a, a quite unusual seven speed manual gearbox. Now the innards and the workings behind it, it's actually based on the seven speed sport shift that's seen service in the V12 Vantage S since 2013, but has been uh, redeveloped and re-engineered for service in this new version for the 2017 model year. Now, the key feature of this uh, seven speed gearbox is that it's a dog leg first, and we need to explain exactly what that is. And I've got my geek clipboard and pen, and I'm gonna explain a few things. So for racing cars as five speed gearboxes became popular, you needed the gears that were used most on track to be most accessible. So essentially second would be up here, third, fourth, and fifth. And the first gear, the one that you didn't use much on the track, you would just use it for pulling away, would be out on a dog leg over to the side. Now, as six speed gearboxes entered the market more and more, this whole uh, layout and configuration became completely impractical and unnecessary. But now that we're in the realm of seven speed manual gearboxes entering the market, suddenly a dog leg becomes a suitable proposition again. Now, one thing that is uh, the case with a dog leg gearbox is often they can be difficult to drive quickly or go for uh, furious 0 to 60 times. But Aston have been quite clever and within the gate they've actually cut off a little bit between first and second to make chasing those 0 to 60 times easier and also driving of the car eminently easy too. Now behind the gearbox itself just forgetting the ratios and the dog leg um, feature of it is some very clever technology. So Bosch have provided uh, some gearbox tech, we called it AM Shift, and behind the gear changes themselves we have three features, one of which is rev matching. So when you're driving the car, you're going down from uh, say you're in third and you're going down to second, it will basically match the engine speed, match the revs, and uh, it means that the car's not unsettled, doesn't pitch, doesn't squirm, and actually aids safety. Then there is another feature whereby it will rev match when you're doing up shifts. That actually smooths out the drive and makes it, uh, you know, just a, a more pleasant experience. And the third thing is that it will do full throttle shifts for you. So you're absolutely hammering along, you've got the uh, throttle fully engaged, you decide to keep your foot welded to the throttle instead of take lifting off, and you depress the clutch. Now once the clutch leg goes in, the engine retards and disengages with the gearbox, you change gear, lift up the clutch again, by which point the engine re-engages. Now it means that the shift is much quicker than if you were to say, let off the gas and then re-engage the gas and uh, it's just mind-blowing in terms of the performance it can do and the whole shift is so smooth that it just this combined with the rev matching all of it makes you look like an absolute pro now what you can do fear not if you are actually a very talented driver and can do the whole um, uh, the whole trick of heel and towing and and have that skill then all these systems are completely uh, independent and can be completely disengaged and as a result it can be a really challenging drive for you. All the improvements to the outside of the car and also to the infotainment are all good and well but quite frankly it's Saturday afternoon it's almost going home time and well I'm going to drive this car so go go go! No I wasn't joking go go!